Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with Simpler Trading, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to do more top-down analysis with you by beginning the analysis in the sector. So in this case, I'm looking at the iShares Semiconductor ETF through SOXX, and looking at a signal through the daily squeeze that I'm considering for potential to the downside. Now there's obviously caveats that go inside with this, and I, I'm not gonna tell you that you can watch this on Tuesday, start setting up your shorts, and it's gonna be easy, right? There could be some short covering moves in this. You could see some pretty ferocious bounces, and I think over the course of the next six to eight weeks, you're still going to be looking at something that is a form of a lower price. So, as we think about that with the sector and its squeeze, you've got three things that I want to break down into from there. The first of which we can be very brief with, and that is NVIDIA earnings. So NVIDIA is set to report Wednesday after the close and will very well set the tone for what this sector is going to do. That's to say, is it going to revert to the mean or is it time for it to actually just begin falling apart? I could see a little bit of a short covering move from these levels, but I'm bringing it to you as a bearish consideration because of what its largest component did today, right? You can see through that squeeze that Broadcom has seen the signal fire short. And if we looked over into the largest component of this ETF, you can see that the resolution, right? Because we know that when we have a squeeze or we assume that a bigger directional move is getting ready to occur, so all throughout this is compression, and then you see what's happened in the way you know the squeeze finally resolves and signals on a very significant break. So if the largest component of the ETF is any sign of what's to come, that could be a little questionable for NVIDIA. You've already seen it in AVGO. And then the third is going to be through AMD. So again, taking this just one day at a time, and not blindly stepping in front of it with too much aggression, but if AMD starts closing back below its 21 EMA, it's essentially what I believe is happening is you're somewhere like you were right in here. Now this instance that I've highlighted for you here was off of just a low compression squeeze, but it's the idea that, you know, after your moving averages cross, you get a little bit of follow through. You know, maybe AMD needs to squeeze up into here for a couple of days. We'll see if there's any you know, reaction along with NVIDIA's report. But after that little move is done, you start closing below the moving average, and I think this squeeze takes you into lower prices. So at least keep these on your watch list, be prepared to act on them if the broad market is also moving lower, and then we'll see how that plays out over the next couple of weeks. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.